Hi, David Out here. This episode of Explained in 64 Seconds will feature the Commodore 64 version of Jukebox, presented by Glenn Case. Let's begin. Jukebox for the Commodore 64 was also released under the name Gold Record Race. The names may be different, but the gameplay is exactly the same. You're represented on the screen by a flashing pair of shoes, and the goal is to create as many gold records as you can before time runs out or you run out of possible moves. There's a one-player mode and a two-player mode where you alternate turns. You can move up, down, left, right, or diagonally to any available square that is either empty or occupied by a record that is the same size or smaller than the square that you currently occupy. Landing on an empty space creates a small record, small records become medium records, medium records become large records, and large records become gold records, but only if the square you moved to is flashing. Move to a large record that isn't flashing and it reverts back to an empty square. There are timers on the right side of the screen, and when time runs out, you have to pay a gold record to keep the music going. Run out of gold records and it's game over. Run out of possible moves in a one-player game and the game ends, but in two-player mode, your opponent gets an extra move while the record underneath your feet grows, and the game ends with black cats dancing no matter how well you do. This has been Explained in 64 Seconds. Thanks for watching.